hey cuties welcome back to my channel thank you very much for being here so in my previous upload I showed you a project I was working on and it's a layered frill dress and it's a very elegant one indeed so today I'm here to show you how to make this and this is the original piece which I made with my fashion fabric if you want to know how to make this dress make sure you watch till the end so basically I've just cut out my upper piece which is the back bodies and the princess seam bodies. If you don't know how to make this yet, I'll put the link of the tutorial in the description box below so you check it out later. I've also cut out my sleeve patterns already. And this sleeve pattern is not just ordinary, it's not basic. It's the kind of sleeves that have a gather or a pleat at the sleeve cap. So I have a tutorial on this too and I'll leave the link in the description box below. So as you well know we're going to start off with sewing on our interface and after doing that for the side piece you're only going to sew your interface at the wrong side of your fabric and when you're done doing that you're going to also do the same for the back piece, your back bodies. You're just going to sew on the interface at the neckline then flip it over and then you sew it on and when you're done you should have something like this then the next thing you have to do is to mark at least half inch right here and slash it out in order to create a balance for your back piece so when you're done with that you should have something like this then you sew on your dart for the back piece then you put the front and the back piece together and stitch it together with your measurement and when you're done you should have something like this then you set this aside then we're going to go over to making the skirt pattern so the first step you have to take is to take a desired length measurement of your skirt and when you're done doing that i'm going to explain a few things here so the first is to determine the length of your skirt and the next thing to think about is the number of layers you want your skirt to be and you have to also take note that your frills should come in between each layer of your skirt like should be it will be caught in between and since it's going to cut in between, you're going to need extra allowances to put the skirt back together after cutting it. So to balance out the equation, you have to add half inch on both sides, both the upper and lower one. That is one inch for each layer of your skirt. So that when you put all together, it should also give you a balanced measurement. So what you have to do now is to calculate the total length of your skirt plus one inch for each layer of frill you're going to add up. So, assuming the total length of your skirt is 36 inches, then you have to add 4 inches for the seam allowances for each step, making it 40 inches. Now, divide that 40 inches into 5 steps that it's going to have, and you have 8 inches. That means you have to divide your A-line skirt into 8 inches per each step. I'll further explain this with my fashion fabric later. So, here, after making this, here at the last step of it, I'm going to eliminate this step because I don't want any fabric behind my last frill. So I'm just going to eliminate this from my measurement. And then what is remaining of it is what I'm going to use to cut out my A-line scale. So I Therefore, 40 inches minus 8 inches is 32 inches, and that is the total length of your A-line scales. And whatever you have for the calculation of your steps, just add 1.5 inch to it to cut your layers of frills. Here with my own calculation, I've marked out the length of my A-line skirt and I'm just going to go ahead and impute my measurements starting with the waist measurement and the seam allowance. Make sure you don't add any dart allowance to it. And then after you must have done that, the next thing you have to do is to mark your hip line measurement and i'm going to mark 8.5 inches down if you're a plus size you can mark 9 inches and mark your hip line then here i'm going to add 1.5 inch to the quarter of my hip measurement and i'm going to mark it right here and whatever you have at your hip measurement you're going to add three inches at least to it and mark at the bottom part here make sure you add your seam allowances then the next thing you're going to do is to connect these lines together like so now you're only going to cut out your front piece and you're going to use it to cut out your back piece as well make sure you notch this midpoint for indication purpose so here 
you're going to cut out your back piece but first of all you're going to mark out your zip allowance here at the front and then you should go ahead and cut this out so after cutting this out the next thing you have to do right here is to mark down six inches from the waistline down and you're just going to sew the rest of it up after sewing it the next thing you have to do is to open this up and sew the side seam with the measurements you mark before so after stitching this up the next thing you have to do is to start marking in the measurements for each step based on the calculation of your measurements so you go ahead and mark in your layers so right here after marking in your layers it should look something like this okay this is mine as you can see I have three lines right here which means I'm going to have five layers of frills later on okay so the next thing you have to do is to cut this out and make sure you number it to avoid confusion when joining it together so a quick tip here before you start sewing up your frills right here the layers that fall I'm going to use this as an instance okay the layers that falls below each of the frill except the first layer you're going to mark quarter of an inch at the edge and sew down on both sides this is just to balance out the measurement of each step to each other when joining it together to avoid confusion so you are just going to notch both the upper and lower part of these each steps so that you'll be able to do it correctly so here we are going to start off with the first layer you turn it to the right then the next thing for you to do is to measure straight this area not the circumference whatever you get here you're going to multiply it by three so in my instance assuming I have 21 inches I'm going to multiply it by three and cut out the length of my frill so here I've cut this out based on the measurement I have here so you're going to do the same as well so when you're done with that the next thing you're going to do is to stitch close the open area and this represents your back piece okay and this area you see here will serve as the center part of your frill and you're just going to put this together and then we're going to mark out the side seams as well so when you fold this together you're just going to go ahead and notch the mid part of it as I'm going to show you right now so this is what I mean so when you fold it in together like so you're going to notch the middle part here and this is going to serve as the side piece this is just to help you to evenly distribute the frills around your steps so here you're just going to match this up with pin around the areas you're going to pin it to sew it into then you're just going to go ahead for the sewing I'm going to show you how to do that here as you can see I'm matching this up right here the center piece to center side of the front piece and the side seam also and then after matching this together I'm just going to start off with pleating from the midpoint like two and a half inches apart from each pleat I'm just going to distribute these pleats evenly around my skirt and this is what the first step should look like so to sew on the second steps you're going to open this up like this as you can see now then I'm going to bring the number two that's the second step to it like so and this is number two right here make sure you sew the quarter inch I told you are the size of it okay as you can see I did mine and it's balancing out so I'm just going to match this center piece to the center part of this as well I'm going to pin it all around before I go ahead and use my machine to sew this up together and see what I have here so after sewing this together the next thing you're going to do is to calculate the length of your frills like so as I've done for the first step whatever you get for the length not for the second frills right here you multiply it by three and cut out your frill like so so when you're done with that you're going to do the same as you did for the up the first frill to find the midpoint the sides and the back point so you're going to just fold it together mark this middle part together which will serve as your side seam okay then you're just going to use your pin and match each side to the other to the skirt and then you're going to pleat evenly around the skirt and when you're done doing that you should have your second step of frill like this 
So your second layer is already sewn on and we're getting on well as you can see right here. So we're just going to sew the third step right here. So I'm just going to do it as I did for the second and first part. I'm going to match this up and sew it together. And when you're done, you should have something like this. And we're going to sew on the next frill using the same calculation as we have been doing before. Okay? So now I've done that already. As you can see, we are getting on so well. It's looking very easy and it's as easy as you can see it here. So right here, I'm just going to sew on my fourth layer. And then my skirt is turning out very well and I'm loving it. So I've done the last frill and as you can see, it's looking very elegant already. Now we are just going to go over and sew on the top layer and I'm just going to do the same here with the same calculation. I'm going to calculate here and mark out my frill just as I did for the other layers as well. You need to keep the calculation similar to each other so that no layer will be so bogus for the other or too small for the others. So right here you're just going to individually hem the back side of this and when you're done you should have something like this and I'm going to sew it all around the upper part of the waistline and I'm going to show you what it looks like from behind and this is where I stopped sewing this frill. I stopped exactly where my zip allowance starts. This is because I don't want this frill to enter into my zip allowance. So when I stitch on my zipper later on, it should look something like this. So then you're just going to go ahead and join your bodies to your skirt and then when you're done doing that you should have something like this okay so the next thing you're going to do is to sew on your shoulder line and I've done mine already as you can see if you don't know how to join your shoulder seam like this I'll put the link in the description box below then you put your zipper and then sew on your sleeves and then you're going to knit it up from the inside with the interlock machine I'm just going to bring this closer so that you see what I did for the tips of my frill. I used an interlock machine to knit it up like this. You can use a design bias or scallops for it. After finishing it with this seam and you're ready, your gown is ready. Thank you guys for watching. Hope I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye!